Hey guys, little um, video here. Um, I want to show how I had uh, conviction on this rally to come. So we posted this earlier in the week when QQQ was around 290. I'm looking for that 285 demand zone, right, to hold. Right, we're looking for a hold and a bounce out of that zone. Okay, so on the top of that, you know, I, I also tweeted yesterday um, uh, about an hour before the close. I said, we, I, you know, I think we rip on CPI. Reason being was we had a perfect reaction out of demand. Okay. And I also noted that we had broken structure. Okay. So I'll go over that in a second. So, uh, you know, like on top of all this that I'm mentioning, I also noted, uh, this is the uh, video I made, you know, that goes over structure. And then I also mentioned that, you know, like on top of QQQ holding demand, I also mentioned that we had S and P also meeting demand. All right. So we had, so think about this for a second. We had both indexes in demand. Okay. And that's how we got 52% on our calls. And on top of what I mentioned about the indexes, we also had the VIX, okay? So this was my setup going into the morning. I said, five up on VIX called for a crush in volatility and a market pop to come, right? We also had bearish RSI divergence, which happens in the fifth wave, okay? So I'm not go over VIX, but you know, this was just the projected move and why I was looking for a smash in VIX. Let's go into our charts here. I'm gonna start up in VIX. So I actually sent the tweet out right here this morning, right? I was looking for a VIX crush. Why? Because we do our higher degree wave one, two, and then from there we have to subdivide that into five waves for, for higher degree wave three. So wave one up, two down, three, four, five, okay? Which then we get uh, wave three in brackets, and then wave four, and then we get the fifth leg up, right? We also noted this bearish R side divergence, right? Which played out perfectly to the T. Five waves up, call for a crush in VIX, and that's what we're seeing now. Top of that, guys, check it out. We also had SPX, right? SPX also met higher time frame demand, right? This is drop base rally. This is valid because broke structure, right? So this is the true origin of the move that caused this break of structure. Check it out. SPX is exploding of 122 points since meeting demand. QQQ, we can go over here. We go into a six hour chart and the uh, extended hours, you can actually see the exact imbalance where I was projecting a rally to come. Check it out, o almost to the tick. We are now up literally 12 points since we're acting out of demand. So all in all, I mean, trading is all about stacking the odds in your favor, right? So, you know, um, again, like I mentioned, we had SPX in higher time frame demand. We had the Qs in higher time frame demand. And not only that, we also had the inverse indicator, VIX, having a five wave structure up. After five waves, you know that a counter trend move comes. In this case, we were looking for VIX to get whacked, market to rally. Uh, that was exactly how we got 53% on our QQQ calls. Um, otherwise, fantastic start to our day, guys. Awesome week, and it's only Tuesday. Um, I hope this helps. Uh, again, this is just for your learning purposes.